Good morning. It's Stacy from PeonyLandDesigns.com. Have you subscribed to the channel yet? If not, there's a little blue box somewhere down here. I gotta drive. I'm gonna drive off the road. You find it. Subscribe now. Don't forget to click the subscribe button, comment down below, like this video, and click the bell icon to be notified. Yep, <laughs> it wouldn't be the first time driven off the road. Let me tell you guys. Ugh, so you're going to see this, I think, two days later because the uh, yesterday's video was like a two-parter. I'm winning friends and influencing people this morning. How are you? I hope you're doing great. I hope there's garage sales and garage sales and garage sales because we're going to a garage sale. Um, I have to go to the bank first for my husband to make a deposit. And then I need to go. There's garage sales everywhere. This thing's still sitting there. I'm going to have to rescue it. Don't rescue it, Susie. Somebody's left a dresser sitting there for over a week. Anyway. I was clued in yesterday to a garage sale at a church. I've been to this one before. It's a normally a book sale. So every year this church has a book sale and I don't spend a lot of time there. I get some good books, some good vintage books, then I move on. Well, yesterday she's putting the signs out and I turned in and I'm like, oh, it's not today. And she said, no, it starts tomorrow at nine. And she goes, we're selling our ornaments from the church and a bunch of our other stuff. And I'm like, oh, oh, oh. she goes, we just can't keep it all. And the prices are incredible. I'll be there at nine. <laughs> I'm so glad I waited. I'm so glad I parked there. I was the first person through the door with two other ladies who were like, not pros. They were looking for craft stuff for the grandkids and I'm like that's fine with me uh my car's full for $21 got a ceramic Christmas tree in all white with red lights I don't know how I like the red lights and then somebody put an ornament on top of it I will replace that with a star I do have stars I buy uh packages of replacement pieces for ceramic trees because when I find them rarely are they intact. It's starting to get warm. I can't have the windows open. Um, so the ceramic tree, it has, there was a ceramic church about that too. There is a plaster pillar back here. Tall one. A concrete urn. Black. A resin urn. Really light. $3. And then a bunch of vintage ornaments that she charged me 50 cents a box for. And then I picked up a couple other odds and ends that, oh, and two, guys, two quilted deer. <laughs> 10 cents each. They're in the trunk. And then there was amber glass um, candle holders and a green glass set of candle holders 25 cents each piece so I got those grab those but I'm just like yes 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 this is the kind of sales I need to run into because this is the stuff that I need I've got now pieces that can go on my porch space I've got you know lovely lovely pieces and the the Christmas tree oh, one dollar for the ceramic Christmas tree. One freaking dollar. And for a replacement star on top, I'm gonna get 60 out of that bad boy. Yes! Ceramic Christmas trees and shiny brights are my only exception to I'm not buying Christmas stuff this year. Because um, if vintage, sorry, not vintage. I don't know where I'm selling anymore. Like all the names are starting to run together. If Junk Bonanza has their Christmas market like they're talking about, I'm going to want a plenty of ceramic trees and shiny rights. And I know everyone else there is going to have them too. 
but my guess is they're gonna charge their prices and I'm gonna stick with the $60 price tag because I'm gonna make bank at $60 and they will sell. If they're, pay they're putting a hundred and something on theirs, then I'm gonna get the sale before they will. Hopefully, just, I can't even. I got six whole dollars left, guys, so let's make, make it count. Okay, I'm broke. Uh, the second sale I hit said vintage craft sale. It was a pick a fence gal. It was Lori, one of our pick a fence gals sale. And um, I bought horseshoes from her because she gets them out of her barn, she said. And I'm like, well, take them out of here because she had a box of them. And I said, she goes, $3. And I said, okay, I'm going to buy these four for the $3. But you take the rest of these and you mark them $3 a piece and you take them to pick it. So I'm like, you got a resource here. I use your resources. Anyway, I also at the one sale, I'm. <laughs> I thought a black velvet painting of an Aztec prince. Yes! That's going to Junk Bonanza. That's one of those, oh my God, no way. No one, that's my wow. I found my wow for Junk Bonanza. I decided to bring him in to pick it because I was going to bring him here anyway, so I might as well unload here. Okay, this is my pillar I just picked up. Five dollars. This urn is the resin one. It's $3, and that's the bas double basket from yesterday. That is my Aztec God, which I will pop up a picture for. He's incredible. I'm gonna go grab the rest of it. There's the other urn, $5. This one's concrete, so that's the heavy one. This is the table they picked up the other day. I don't think you guys saw it. I'm not gonna do anything to it. It's just a nice little side table that's gonna be in here, so. Um, my Aztec God is not staying here, but I'm worried that it's going to get broken in Victoria's car or, car or dented. So I'm going to leave it in here till I can get my van going. Trying really hard to pretend like carrying a heavy concrete thing, pillar, and then uh, an urn up steps. And around the building, <laughs> it doesn't wind me. Yeah, it does. <sighs> so I'm trying not to breathe because God forbid you hear me breathe. But, um, that Aztec picture, I don't want it to like lean on the seat weird. So when I bring Fluffy up to drop some pieces off, we will, uh, we'll get that out of here. I plopped the coal scuttle in there. And then this is the picture I picked up. I don't, I don't even know that I showed you guys that one. I was at a garage sale, the one I bought the, uh, the outdoor table at, I bought that as well. Now I just need to pick, get that blue mirror out of the car and we'll be done. That mirror is deceptively heavy and it is solid. So that's the mirror that I picked up from Marketplace. You can see why I wanted it. I actually thought it was about half the size when I saw the price. So I'm um, really glad I bought it. It's gonna look great in here. Oh, I can't breathe. That thing's so heavy and then you gotta go up steps and around the building and I'm like dying because they parked in front of the restaurant next door. So it was a really long walk to get up here. But it looks good. I love when I pre-fill my booth, right? I gotta get all the clearance stuff in here. But it's gonna look cute this month, I think, with all this stuff. So these outdoor urns will go on the porch space with the outdoor table. Uh, the pillar will be in here. I'm pretty sure one of the gals will buy it. Okay, let's finish this thrift haul. So I show you the guys. <laughs> I showed you guys the stuff that I left. Pick it, but then this is the rest of the stuff and some on the floor. I'm also going to show you the rest of the stuff that I picked up a couple days ago that I didn't have the ability to go out in the rain. And well, I didn't want to, I had the ability. I didn't want to. Um, this is the thermo serve casserole I was talking about. It's got the little lifty handles. So you could put hot or cold in here and it would keep it hot or cold to go to your table. So you could put a salad in there or something warm. Somebody's got their name on it. They were like, prepared. <laughs> Dishwasher safe, unbreakable Olympian thermoserve. Somebody was prepared to take this to events and get their casserole dish back. Get their hot dish back. So I think it's a great, it's amazing. Um, I'm gonna find a spot for it here. 
can't put it back in the box because I got to take more stuff out of the box. Okay, so now I think that's everything from yesterday. So the garage sale at the church, I picked up this. It is silver plated, it says on the back, from International Silver Company, Silver Plated Cross for $1. So remember I have all the Marys and the religious iconography, all the different statues. This is getting added to it. So it's very cool. Kind of, I don't think they ever hung it up though. I feel like this is not their style. She said they had a lot of pieces that people would drop off over the years and be like, maybe the church can use it. I have a feeling the shiny brights came from a maybe the church could use it because they're not full sets of ornaments in any way. They're kind of mismatched. Can you see them in there? So these are newer. These are from the 70s, the solid blue ones. Um, but these are older in those colors. Love the flocked. They're flocked. Love the flocked ones. Okay, and a bunch fell out. So this box had a bunch of the small ones. This was full and over full. So there was one for every slot, and they're all in the bottom of the bag now. They don't fit in there anymore. <laughs> I'm just excited about those. Like, oh, 50 cents a box. Or, yeah, 50 cents a box. Okay, so this box has got some of them in there too. So these are also flocked. Those would be from the 70s. My parents had those on the tree. Maybe they're from the 60s. Very exciting for me. The turquoise Merry Christmas vintage one. It's so nice to get these and have them because I knew the Junk Bonanza Christmas thing, if that's going to happen, I was going to have to have some of this stuff. And I didn't have it. I don't have any. I've got newer Christmas stuff, which goes in at Picket, and <laughs> I was so stressed out. I'm like, why did I agree to it? Why did I say, yeah, I'll do it? Because I'm toxic that way. I'm like, I can do anything. <laughs> I can't hold a good one down. More. Another box. So I'm going to have to sort these out and get them nested someplace safe. I mean, clearly, they're fragile. They're delicate. And separate them ooh, by what I feel like the ages are. They'll probably go in a basket or something to be displayed. This is the $1 ceramic church. It's got the uh, stained glass windows in it. So that'll be cute. I'll be able to do a little vignette around that. It looks like the Christmas trees have holes in them for lights to come out of that as well. So I bet this is just adorable when it's all lit up, but it was a dollar. So I went, I wasn't going to get it. I was just going to take the tree, but then I went, well, when the tree sells, I'm going to need something in its place. So I grabbed the church. Now, speaking of the tree, get to the tree now. Come on out of there. Okay. The base is in there. But you can see what I mean when somebody put an ornament on the top when they lost the star. I have the star. I have stars. I have replacement bulbs and I have stars. So these bulbs, some of them were loose, if I remember correctly. Yeah, that one's loose. So they're not all glued in, but it's red. Red and white. Here's the base, and it is clearly an older one. You can tell by the uh, plug on it. But there's the base. I'm so freaking excited to have this one. They're hard to find. They're really hard to find any tree. But, you know, this one has a chip on the top where the actual star was. So that's, you know, somebody broke it and then the star fell out. But what I'll do is I'll clear coat that. I'll put a little white on it to blend it and get the star back on there and nobody will even notice. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Got these as well, they were 50 cents a piece. So another urn, metal urn. I like the metal one. Um, I might stick some faux peonies in there and keep it for myself. 
And then I got this little basket. I don't know why. I mean, I don't do a lot with baskets, but doesn't this just have, it's just unusual shape. It felt like I needed this one. No idea why. <laughs> it just went. I was looking at the other baskets and they had one that looked like a laundry basket. And I thought about getting that one. And then I saw cornucopias. They had tons of cornucopias. They have a rant. They had a $5 ram's head metal piece. I should have thought about that, but I did think about it. And then I thought that's a hard sell. So I didn't get it. Oh, these are from the other day. So here's the other thermal serve coffee pot. I mean, I don't see these. I don't see this style hardly ever, ever. I don't think I've ever bought one like this. I know I've never bought one. I don't remember the last time I saw something like this. So I've got two of the gold coffee pots from Thermal Serve in inventory now and on Etsy, but this is going to be going up there because look at it. It's so cool. And then I also picked up another Starbucks cup because as I said before my previous video, Starbucks is trying to switch over to um, reusable cups. For everyone so uh it would be nice to have a couple of these on hand for victoria and i to go get our coffee bought a purple one for her got a red one for me i have some of the white ones as well it'll just be nice to have oh my god you guys these 10 cents I love you so much for 10 cents. Oh, God. Oh, my God. He's got a little flea bite on his foot right here. We'll have to blend that in. I usually just touch it up. I do tell people that the Nick has been touched up. Like I did with the Swan TV lamp at Junk Lands. One person passed on it when they found out I had done that, and one person bought it. And here's the other one for 10 cents. He's, <laughs> He's amazing. Guys, guys, and then I got the three little ones. <laughs> if Junk Bonanza has their Christmas thing, these are gonna be like <clears throat> the last bag. It's not Christmas, technically, in the game, man. There were two of these at 25 cents each, green glass beautiful candle holders. They will also probably go to the Christmas sale because green and red, but they are not technically Christmas. And then I actually have this set on my Etsy site right now. Two amber glass um, candle holders. They're gorgeous. They're freaking gorgeous. These are actually in better condition than the ones I have up there. There's no nicks. But for 25 cents each piece, I will take that. I nest them like that because then they don't spin. <laughs> That's everything, you guys. Thanks for watching. And if you haven't yet gotten one of your Happy Jugged shirts, two of the ladies on my way into... Uh, this garage sale, the the um, the church sale said, can we buy your shirts? And I said, you can, it's online. <laughs> I don't know if they will or not, but they were like, I love your shirt. I just love your shirt. I'm like, yes, they are available for purchase. So click the link below, get yours today. So you can be a trendsetter like me. And if you want to send me a thrift flip challenge, you can always do that. Send anything else you want to the P.O. Box too. Just nothing creepy, please. Thank you. And if you'd like to buy me a coffee because your girl's on half a tank, you can do that as well. It's like Patreon without the monthly commitment. Margot needs her 15 minutes. Margot! Shush! like Patreon without the monthly commitment. And all that money goes back into buying the things that we try. And I have a couple requests coming up uh, of products that people wanted me to try. So we're going to do it. Stay tuned. 
Thanks for watching, everyone. Happy junkin'. Bye. Visit my blog, peonylanedesigns.com, for more tips, tricks, and inspiration. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so you'll be notified of new videos. I post every week DIY tutorials and, of course, more junkin' videos.